Oh look, is that Mr. Winston Churchill? Oh my God, here we go. Let me sit between good old Winston Churchill, you fucking piece of shit. Greatest Britain, they say of this man. And FDR. Oh, these two guys, where's Stalin? That was our good buddy. This man here, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, married to a Jewish woman. Uh, he called Joe Stalin murderer of minimum 40 million, but it's actually close to 60 million, if you believe in it. Alexander Solzhenitsyn, and I do. He called Joseph Stalin Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe. Joseph Stalin. Murderer extraordinaire. Uncle Joe. So the Christian world, or at least former Christian world, allied with the communist world. No private property. And the first law, oh, there's Christian Dior. Can't forget them. What was the first law after the Bolshevik Revolution, which is the worst period in history? I am not aware of anything worse. So how does Christianity, which bans usury, combine with communism, which has, at its core, no God, no private property, and what was the first law under the Bolshevik Russian invasion? What was their first law? Take a guess. Their first law was anti-Semitism. I think they're making a whole bunch of laws right here, right now, in America too. A whole bunch of laws which are effectively outlawing speaking of truth under the guise of, quote, anti-Semitism. Oh, yes. And now in America, it is illegal. Not really. But to say that Jesus was killed by the tribe. Wow, is that not an example of the truth? Becoming illegal? Oh, I say it is. And hate speech. I am a man who has spoken with love and a willingness to sacrifice all in pursuit of justice for all of humanity. And yet, if you listen to my enemies, I'm a hate preacher. I'm aligned with white supremacists. Funny, that is, since I've stood up for non-white people. That's what they say. Hate speech and anti-Semitism. All of this is in the process of doing what? To outlaw completely free speech. And how did they punish anti-Semitism? The first law they made in communist Russia was death. Death.